Hello and welcome to the second video in my Kerbal Space Program plugin tutorial series. In the last part we got our development environment all set up and ready to go. So now it is time to make use of it by creating a window. So what will we be doing in this video? We will start off by making a temporary part for our plugin testing, then we will link our project up to the required Unity Engine and KSP library references, after which it will be time to start programming. We'll be making a parts module which will render a window in flight that is associated with the vessel it is attached to and is also draggable around the screen. Ok, let's start off by creating a temporary part which we can use for our plugin testing. Let's go into our Kerbal Space Program and Parts directory and try and find the RCS block. Also on the other side in our plugin tutorial folder go to Outputs and Parts and let's just copy that over. Now that it is copied over, let's rename it to tutorial part and let's also go into part.cfg. You'll need to open this up in Notepad. I've got it set up so I can just double click on it. Now we just go to name and let's change this to tutorial part. Let's change the title to something a bit better than that so we can find it actually in the game to tutorial part and let's also change the module which it already has so delete all of this as we don't need it as an RCS module anymore and call it uh, plugin tutorial and now we will save that config file and that's all that part done and the next thing we need to do is include the references for Unity Engine and the Kerbal Space Program libraries into our project go to the Kerbal Space Program game folder and copy the path then in Visual Studio right click on References and Add Reference. Go to Browse, click the button at the bottom here and paste in the path. Now we need to go to a KSP Data, Managed and what we want is Assembly C Sharp, not the first pass one and also Unity Engine.dll. Now that they've been added here go OK and they will be listed. All we need to do is select both of these and then where it's got copy local down in the properties section make sure that's set to false. This will stop the reference libraries from being copied over into the output directory whenever we build the project. Ok now that we've got our references in Visual Studio let's get down to some programming. So let's change the name of this file here to a plugin tutorial and it also wants us to change the class name as well. If we go yes there, um, all's good. Let's get rid of these using statements because we don't need them and change this one to Unity Engine. Uh, that will have all the hooks in for the libraries for Unity Engine and Kerbal Space Program. And let's make this class a part module. There we go. And now we're going to be trying to display a window. So first things first, we need a position. So let's make a private variable of type rect and call it window position and give it a blank rectangle. There we go. And there's a few methods we're going to need as well. So uh, public override void on start. And this is where we're going to have all of the um, rendering manager stuff and where it's going to start the plugin. Uh, private void on draw. So this is going to start up the window. And we're also going to have uh, private void on window. And in here it's going to need an integer uh, which is a window ID. And let's open and close the brackets there. So on start this is where we're going to find find out the state um, that the plugin is starting in. So whether it is in the editor or if it is in flight. So what we need to now do is if the state is not equal to start state dot editor. So if it's not in the editor it's going to be in flight. We want to call the rendering manager and add to post draw queue. Uh, queue spot doesn't matter and draw function we want to be on draw. So that's all of that part done. Okay now let's sort out the on draw method. So in here is everything we're going to do for finding out whether um, this uh, part module is going to be running on our current vessel. So we need to go if uh, this dot vessel, 
so the vessel associated with this part the part module is running on is equal to a flight globals dot active vessel so basically if the active vessel is is the vessel this part is on then run the next bit of code we'll need window position so we're going to be changing the window position based on the window which we're going to be creating so a GUI layout dot window and in here we need a window ID let's just pick 10 and screen rectangle we want window position and then our on window function or method and also content which will be the title so uh, this is a title and that's all of that part done and now on the on window this is where we're going to be putting all of our GUI code so first things first we'll need a horizontal area so a GUI layout dot begin horizontal and let's give it a width so GUI layout dot uh, width of uh, 250 pixels wide and let's create a label so a GUI layout dot label and in here let's put this is a label so we've got a label there and now we've begun the horizontal we need to end it as well so a GUI layout dot end horizontal and then to make this window draggable we just need to add in GUI dot drag window and that is everything there done so let's build the project by pressing F6 and then going to our Kerbal Space Program game and clicking on the batch file we created before. It has copied over all of the parts files and also the new DLL file which we've created. And then we just have to wait for the game to load. And now that the game has loaded, let's go to a start game. Resume or save or start game depending if you've started up a game or not. Let's go to the vehicle assembly building. Let's just get a command pod. Let's go to controls. And as you can see, we've got our tutorial parts here. Click on that, just drag it and place it onto your pod and launch. Uh, clear the launch pad and proceed. And let's see what comes up. So as you can see already, we've got a window up in the corner here. And it is all draggable. So we've got this is a title and this is a label. So I think that's a success. Thanks for watching and now you know how to create a basic window in Kerbal Space Program. If you found this video informative please remember to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more.